guys welcome back to my channel good to have you back again today i have another vintage and antique junk journal supplies thrift haul uh, a couple of other goodies i found some on my uncle alice of course and some from my instagram friends so i have lots and lots of goodies get your cup of tea out and a snack and let's get started I went to one antique flea market, didn't find a lot of stuff there, but you know, it's always nice to be outdoorsy and do <laughs> some sort of an adventure. And one of my favorite uh, thrift shops and then two new ones. Uh, and one of them I really, really liked. So uh, let's start with the sort of stationary stuff that I found. This is a small package of um, cards that I really... I don't think they're that old, but they're older. Very cute with roses. And then you can fold it open and, uh, you know, have a note. I really love the edges. It came, it just came with two cards and three envelopes. One of which was already written on. So we are going to repurpose this. And then the card that says, for brief letters and congratulations. Yes, made in Holland. Supposed to have six. I only have two, but that's okay. I love the envelope. Look at the edges of the envelope. And then it's lined with tissue paper. I think this is a little bit older. Um, well, at least it's vintage. Probably late 70s, early 80s. So, and I paid like 40 cents for, uh, 40 cents for this. So, yeah, love that one. This is not very exciting. This is like a small recycled paper sort of notepad. The paper is really nice, but it's not special. However, I saw a video by Eva from Bohemian Crafting a couple of weeks ago. And she just completely transformed a notepad like this. And I was like in awe. And now I found one myself. So I'm going to do, um, well, that tutorial for sure. In my own way, of course. And it costs me... Like, it didn't cost this. It didn't cost this or this. Like 20 cents or something. So, very happy with this. Also, 20 cents were these two, like, uh, notebooks for school. And it, they are by uh, Holly Hobby. And they are older. American Greetings Corporations in Cleveland. Um, I think these were probably 80s, maybe late 70s. They are older because they... If they were newer, they would have like a barcode on them or something like that. They were 20 cents. And I adore them. Yeah, love them. Saving this for later. I found a pack of uh, envelopes. And this was on top of it. It's sort of a, like an oriental sort of design on them. And if you can see, it's it's shiny. It has some structure. And um, yeah, it's but it was interesting. And underneath were these, all of these. I, ho I was hoping it had half of these and half of these, but only one of these and then these with these, whatever, it's not called, what, peaches or, or I don't know, fruits. Let's call it fruits uh, with a lot of gold on it. I know this is like sort of an advertisement piece because of companies that are on here, but I can cover that up. But I really like the structure of this and the colors and such. And I am thinking about an oriental journal. Um that they are perfect for but more on that later because i have also found some beautiful uh junk, junk journal covers for such a journal now these are antiques these i found on these on the antique flea market look at these cards i have cards ladies i have a gazillion i'll do a collection uh show through yeah of my cards but i read i don't have this one i really loved it look at these oh, the colors they are all from 1959 uh, yeah they have the, i also love the backs look at the handwriting yeah and then this one says happy birthday congratulations with the roses again 1959 they are from a family in sutphen which is a village in the netherlands look at that one i love it with the gold sort of border around it again says congratulations Sutfen again this is all from one family 1959 another congratulations with these roses beautiful uh i think no these are from germany because this is in german yeah but it does say congratulations judge in, in judge in dutch 
so yeah and then the last one yeah so so pretty again system yeah. i do love it says card postal and this is a little bit embossed so beautiful beautiful um cards and then this card game have you ever seen this one i haven't i haven't seen this one so i was really excited I did pay up a little bit for this, but hey, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is complete. Look at these. Let me, I'm going to show you some of them. These have all the flowers. Still don't know what this game is called. Guys, if you know, please let me know. Um, in Dutch, it's called Quartet. I think it's Old Maid or Parcheesi. I don't really know. You need to eventually get four of the same category and then you say oh quartet i have this one and the person has the most of that one wins it but you know it's beautiful um if you are dutch you you'll see the spelling is completely different than what we're used to this says spring flowers but uh it is spelled completely different than what we do now also um the dutch word for daffodil this one is Narcissus, and nowadays we write it uh, with a C, not an S. Yeah, so you can see the it is an old one, doesn't have any date on it, but I'm fine with that. This says forest flowers, and forest flowers you don't write it <laughs> that way anymore. So, yeah, I love them. They have very plain backing, which is sort of surprising to me, like a lighter blue one. You've seen it's been loved. But I love it. It is so beautiful. This goes into my collection. I'll probably never find any uh, a second copy of this one. So this is going to go into my collection. Yeah. Another another collection that I could show you. I mean, I have a big card collection. A big card game collection. Let me know if you're interested. Let's do another category. I forgot. I have two more paper items. But I need to unpack them. Uh, I did not unpack this. I've waited for you guys. This is probably handmade paper. Yes. Uh, it's very sort of rough. And it's very thick. It is paper, but it's like more like cardstock. And I have a couple of them. This brown one and sort of beige one. A red one. Almost a black one. Oh, they smell a little bit. And yellow. Yeah, oh, well, they don't smell really bad, but they, they do have a smell. Um, yes, I think I will use them maybe as a cover or something like that. I don't have um, handmade paper. I have a couple of them, but nothing like this. So, yeah, I was excited. I was excited. And then another vintage stationery pack. Look at this. It says old Dutch paper. Okay, well didn't know we were known for old dutch papers but i do love it um let's see it has all the envelopes it has pink envelopes with well, leave it like that get this one out hun. yes again some sort of tissue paper like burgundy tissue paper it has a little bit of a structure on it it is completely intact i believe and then it has these sort of writing papers with almost torn edges so i love these i have a couple of these uh, sort of boxes with the stationery in there most of them have some sort of design on it this is rather plain but i do love the colors i love it so another stationery set i have some more sort of miscellaneous stuff that i want to show you they, were, they are bits and bobs, so put them in my drinks box. I really need to uh, alter this because, yeah, drinks. I'm not a bar. I found this uh, embossing folder, yeah, with uh, like an air balloon on it and then some gauge dials. It doesn't have uh, like a brand name on it, but I, I liked it. I don't do a lot of embossing, uh, but you know, you never know. I think I like it. And it was like, it was 50 cents. What can you do? Well, you pick it up. That's what you do. Then I found this whole bag full of stuff. It only was one euro and 10 cents in my new sort of favorite um, thrift shop. And it has a lot of stuff in there that I like and some that I, I don't know. This is, these are shoelaces. Like uh, metallic pink shoelaces. No clue. I have no clue. But you know, um, 
maybe someday and then this whole bag of wooden um hot pink beads maybe someday i'll use it but you know i don't know I'm just gonna, gonna keep it for now what i was really interested in was this yes this whole bag of um beads with the alphabet on them with letter beads and it's a lot i can tell you uh, I have found these on uh, AliExpress and I've bought a few. I've bought like a, a rose gold set and it was half the contents of this um, bag and it was like almost two euros. So I have this whole, this, this, this for one euro and ten cents. So I bought it mainly because of these. Uh, it's a lot. And I, I, I will use them to make like um, glue uh, topper dangles and such and you know journal dangles so i like these and then it also came well it came with this like organza sort of pouch that is already really really cute look at the do you hear the bell yes the bell is this one uh this is uh hello kitty yeah she's my hero I know I am over a certain age that this cannot no longer be your hero. Uh, uh, but uh, the bell alone was 90 cents. And I love it. It's wrinkly. Speaking of um, Hello Kitty. More Hello Kitty beads or, or buttons. They're more like buttons. They're, I know they're a little bit childish. But you know, someday I might use them. And these are ladybugs or ladybirds. Again, all these beads. And uh, just a small bag with uh, these sort. Of, I, I have a whole bunch of these. Oh yeah, and the flowers. Look at the flowers. I mean, it was a crazy good deal, right? One euro and ten cents for this whole bunch. Yeah, I, yeah. So I picked it up. So love that. You know, I basically love everything that I've bought. Especially this one. Look at this. I have no clue what this is. Um, it is sort of a bigger Thread made out of all these smaller ones on a very big spool, which is probably vintage because they don't use these anymore. Look, it's all yellowy and such. I I have no clue. I did uh, snip off a little bit just to see what it would do. But I think you could make like tassels from this, put it uh, on uh, tags for toppers. Uh, I don't know. Endless possibilities. Um, so yeah, and it's it's decorative. You can uh, put it on the shelf, um, uh, and I love the colors. Really cute. Another sort of uh, design, well, not design, some specialty yarn is this one. Just very neutral, but I love it. You can do so many things with this. So two sort of balls of yarn, and then uh, more haberdashery. I love that word. I've bought some more zippers, yes. And uh, I thought I'd do some sort of uh, interesting colors, like bright orange and uh, pink, because, you know, I have Hello Kitty now. A neutral one, I do, uh, I am looking for the smaller ones. You have the very long ones, but I have no clue what to do with those. And I bought this one, which is very neutral because it's sort of white, but I do love like the chain that's on here. So it's very sort of more like an industrial or whatever and uh they were 50 cents uh, except for the one was 30 cents yeah the the orange one was 30 cents so i think and they're new i don't think they've ever been used uh yeah and you know what i can make with these i'm sorry i was out of frame you know what i can make with these yes i did a project with them so zippers i have some more um let's see i have this sort of ribbon it was 50 cents there's actually a lot on here with duckies with ducks you know 50 cents it comes home with me there you go do i have more in here no then i have this one and i should have done my homework because i have no clue what this is called uh, in english it um uh, this punneke <laughs> It sounds funny, I know. It was only 30 cents. I've used this like almost exact one. This is a very sort of uh, vintagey one. It's like a toadstool. You put thread through here and then you sort of knit. You sort of knit. And then this whole string comes out with a uh, knitted. I'm sorry, guys. I should have done my homework. In, in the Netherlands, it's called punneke. And if you're like my age, you recognize this. Because we have this in school and such. In 
in kindergarten even. Nowadays you have some more modern looking ones, but this is an old, old one. So I just love it. I am not gonna go start punicking all of the sudden. No, I'm just gonna display it because I love it. And it was 30 cents, so nostalgia. Yeah, then I have, um, I should have two of these, right? Where's the other one? Some buckles. Yeah, aren't these lovely? I have no clue what to do with them, but I, I love them. Uh, I think these were sort of bracelets all sort of bound together for, for a bracelet. Because it has holes in here. But I'll find something to make with these because uh, well, I love them. I picked up a whole bunch of beads again. Yeah, I promised myself not to buy any, but um, they were wonderful and they were cheap. And also, I have some, some charms. Please open up little bag. They came in this little bag. Look at these. These are sort of copper and they're, uh, well, as you can tell, they're letters. They don't make up like a word that I would sort of, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. They're letters and they're coppery. And you can put them on anything. I guess. A T, a E, an N, an R and two Ks. Whatever. I don't know. Love them. And they were dirt cheap, like 30 cents. So, yeah, I pick, I pick that up. Let me get some sort of um, something underneath so I can really display them. These beads are sort of disco balls. <laughs> Look at those. Shiny, shiny, glittery disco balls. Yeah. Or was it 50 cents? Or? No, 30 cents. Ridiculous. You can't even buy these on AliExpress for that, mon that sort of money. These again are um, letters, sort of alphabet. And you can, um, they're not beads and not buttons, but you can uh, have a ribbon through here. Yeah, and put a ribbon through and then have the letters on here. All sorts and they have like sort of butterfly shapes. Is that a butterfly shape? Let's call it a butterfly shape. And hearts. Do I have a heart one with a letter in it? I don't know. Has letters. These are plasticky. But I thought they were sort of cute. Another one that I only bought for the wooden beads is this one. I just like the bright colors. I Sometimes I'd like to do some happy colors, you know. Don't always have to be like neutrals and browns and such. Probably won't use any of these. Uh, but I do love these. They're cute. Yeah. They're yeah, really good quality as well. And there you go. And they were, again, 50 cents. These are really, really nice. I like these ones. Keeping the best for last. Yes. Again, it has some sort of glittery, sort of diamond shapey. These sort of beads. I like them, but they're not really special. But these are special. Look at that. Yeah. And they have glitter in them as well. No clue why though. Because I would have preferred them without the glitter I think. I don't know. I like this purpley one with the flowers. Some green, purple, greys. I really like them. They feel sort of rubbery. So they're not wooden. They're, I don't I don't have. I have no clue what they're made of. But they're nice. And it was again 30 cents. But it's ridiculous. Then this one. Well, I was in love completely with the moment I saw it. Look at this. This is um, clay. This is Those are very heavy. I don't know when I will use them, but I couldn't leave them there. Look at that design. Probably came from a very big, like, bulky necklace. And it's 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 hard. It's sort of made of sort of pottery. You know where you uh, where. Plant pots are made of, yeah, these. And then this one, I already have a couple of these. And I just love them. All sorts. And it has, came also with these uh, metal rings. And it doesn't sound that uh, like sort of exciting metal rings, but you can do a lot with these. So it had two of these big ones, the round one, and all sorts of bees and dangles. And I don't know. I thought it was cute. Look at that one. Yeah. So the whole bag was 50 cents. And I, this is my favorite. These are paper beads. I've seen a couple of videos from some YouTubers that make these beads. Well, these are made, uh, of course, professionally. But it is 
uh, rolled up pieces of paper and then coated with something on a stick. There are some videos out there uh, that shows you how you can make them. Well, not these exact ones, but I love them. They're very light. I love the colors. It does have some uh, in the back, some of these um, like turquoise seed beads in them as well. But that's okay. I managed. Look at all the beauties. Yes. What did I pay for them? 50 cents is 1 euro, 150. 2 euros and 40 cents. Yeah, 2 euros and 40 cents for all of this. Amazing. I found two of these small glass jars. Uh, the contents I uh, found some, somewhere else. I want to tell you a little bit about them. These are, uh, well, this one is from Ikea. I already have seven of these. I find these all the time. I think they are for spices and such. Maybe you can even still get them at Ikea. They are very cheap. These ones were 30 cents. So I'm really happy with those. This one uh, is by another brand because it doesn't have the Ikea logo underneath. It's also a tiny, the tiniest bit bigger and it has a see-through lid compared to the solid one. So guys, if you find these in thrift shops, pick them up because um, they're very handy. You can get, have your beads in here and buttons, charms, what have you. So I, I'm very happy with these. Let me show you what's inside. One of the jars has cameos. I believe it's called cameos. They're like silhouettes of ladies. See, I have three colors, sort of an ivory one, a light pinky one, and sort of an orangey pinky one. I love them. They're so, so cute, but I have a bunch. Yes, I hope I have a whole lot of them. So I was thinking um, I don't need all of them to make a set of three of uh, one of each color uh, in the shop. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Let me know. If you are interested, uh, let me know. Uh, I might make some packs because I have enough. And then this is filled with something. I didn't know what it was, but it looked very interesting. I'm going to empty it out a little bit. I'm sorry for the noise. <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about this. I just like small metal bits that are decorative, but I didn't know what these were. And it said so on the on the little bag that I, that I bought them in, but I just didn't see it. What they are, they are sort of charms to go over leather straps. Now I have, uh, by chance, I have like this leather strap and then you can just shove this over, I guess. Uh, uh, there you go. And then you can make bracelets and such. It has all sorts of these charms, uh, big ones and smaller ones, round ones and square ones. All sorts and all sorts of sizes. It also came with these sort of, it's not really buttons, but you can attach them. And then these, you will probably need to punch these through the leather strap or make a hole. And it does have a backing on there. Where are they? Sort of these, I don't know. It has some backings. Where are they? I did find some of them. And a smaller ones, I think these will be called the dividers or such. So yeah, I'm going to have a play with these. It could be nice uh, on a journal cover or something like that. Or a hanger. But I love it. Yeah. Whole bunch of them. So I'm definitely going to have a play with these. Also found a couple of fabric pieces. Not a lot of them. Usually I find a whole bunch. But... There weren't a lot available. Well, not a lot of nice ones. Uh, I found this one. It's a smaller piece, so I cannot share it with you in my shop. But I love it. Look at the blue, uh, pretty flowers. Some pink in there. And then this one is probably sort of a baby fabric for, I don't know, pillows or such. Very cute, embroidered, small flowers in pastel colors. I have a big piece of this, so I uh, already made some... Uh, smaller swatches for you guys this is of course flower power groovy sort of 60s 70s material i like it it's very very bright i know it's not for everyone um but my idea was to make a journal with like a 60s theme to it like a groovy 
sort of Austin Powers journal and then use some uh, vintage patterns from uh, the 60s with ladies in bell buttons and, and such. Yeah, also reminds me very much of late 80s, early 90s. Uh, if you're my age, you probably remember there was this little band called Delight, Groovies in the Heart. And yeah, she wore these sort of patterns. So I love them, will be available in the shop. Uh, this is just a normal pattern. It's a black and white stripe in a sort of a canvasy. I love this sort of material. I know it's not a crazy exciting pattern, but what I do usually is make small strips, like uh, longer ribbons, out of them and use them uh, as toppers uh, on tags and such. Then it would look really, really lovely. So that's what I use this for. I have two smaller samples in the shop available. Uh, I found this one. This is some sort of, I don't know, crochet or something. It screams uh, Christmas to me. It's like, uh, a big sort of pine tree with two deer and um, I don't know what it really is it's almost like a window hanger or something but it was cheap and uh, I thought why not use it for a Christmas journal or a winter journal as some sort of a cover so I liked it again vintage sort of a really small uh, rug or doily how you want to call it uh, I just like it. This this is a journal cover. It's a journal, bam, ready journal cover. And you can um, use it on both sides. I think I even prefer this side. I don't know. I just like it with all the fraying. And it was, you know, cheap and nice. Uh, these are placemats. And I do love my fabric placemats because they make for beautiful journal covers. Let me show you. I found three of these already it's pink and it's lovely and bright and floral and whatever um these are not handmade or old because it has the brand name on them it's uh Riv Riv riviera maison that's french it, it i don't know if you have this uh, outside of the netherlands you probably do this is one of my favorite shops i never go there because it's so expensive but i love everything they have in there it's completely my sort of style it's like sort of country style cottagey love it so it has these placemats quilted also love the other side hence has some sort of uh toile de jouet like paris sort of design on them uh with trim and i think we can make a lovely sort of journal cover with this yeah don't know exactly how because it's really big so i need to trim it or or make sort of a pocket on the inside so when you open it up it has a pocket already i don't know i'm gonna think about it i found three yeah so gonna use it for sure and then two other ones these are the oriental ones that i've told you about these are also sort of um placemats some sort of silky embroidery and they would make for lovely sort of oriental uh, journal covers yeah and then and then these envelopes come in yeah see see how nice so i have two of them i will definitely make one myself and maybe maybe my thought is to make some sort of a journal kit because i am collecting a lot of oriental sort of papers and ephemeras and such uh, to make such a journal but i will have more than enough to make two or three journals so um yeah maybe i'll make a journal kit for one of you guys you never know and now for my very special piece i love this if you followed me in uh, july during the junk journal july there was a prompt called texture and i've used a couple of uh, pieces of fabric that were in this style this is for a men's jacket or even uh, some upholstery style. I have a lot of it, a whole bunch. It is very woolly. It's very itchy. I wouldn't wear this on my skin. Uh, it needs some lining if you were to make a jacket out of this or pants or whatever. But I love it. Look at that. Look at the colors. It's so fall. I know it's midsummer. No, you do not have to remind me. It's so warm. Uh, but for a fall sort of uh, journal cover, 
this is amazing. I found a lot. I already had some pieces cut out, so it will be available in my shop. But I have something else to show you that goes perfectly with this. Let me quickly grab it for you guys. Well, that's exciting. You found a wooden box. Now, it's actually a sort of a wooden sort of suitcase. But that's not what I'm going to show you guys. Also found this in a thrift shop, by the way. Uh, I've, I got these. These I found on Instagram from my, best, from my bestie Leonie. She has a whole bunch of these. These are real leather sort of straps. Um, I believe they can be used for making bags or something. I don't know. I have a whole bunch of them. It smells so good because it's real leather. Uh, and they are, are available in her shop. And they would make for wonderful closures uh, on journals. Look, is, this is a dream, right? Look at this. I'm very fancy. Very, very fancy. Don't know how I would exactly sort of um, fasten it, but it has these uh, sort of uh, straps and you can make something with it. I love this. Uh, speaking of, look, I have this pink one and then I can do pink. Yeah, she has a couple of them, uh, different styles. She has these with these rings on them and then these with the holes. And then two sort of structures. You have the plain ones and then the ones with the spots on them. Um, and five, six colors. I don't really know. I, I got one of each. So she has a lot. They're beautiful. They're real leather. They look extremely expensive. Let me tell you, they are not. They are not. She makes small packs of them. I do not know the exact price of them, but it's a steal. It's an absolute steal. So I had uh, one of each. One of each. And I love it. I'm going to use it. And especially with this. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. Isn't that lovely? I will link Leonie's shop um, below. It's an Instagram shop. Same as mine. If you cannot find it, um, just, you know, send me an email. I will I will hook you up. She has a lot. So uh, she's going to share them with you guys. Love it. Let me um, show you what else I got from her. These are the other treasures that I found um, on Leonie's Instagram. Uh, she had a couple of more of these sort of belt buckles. I don't know what it's called, but you can use them. For closures on your journals. I especially love these ones. Because I think you can have a breath through here. Yeah. Love them. She has different styles. But she doesn't have a lot anymore. Because they were sold out. Like almost immediately. I was happy to secure a couple of them. Uh, but she probably has some other styles. What she also had were these. Vintage. Holly Hobby. Bonnie Bonnet. Sarah Kay uh, style types of pictures I, I don't it they look like stickers well they used to be stickers they used to be stickers but the sticky is gone yeah i love them bonnie and annalise yeah look at all of these they will go very well with the two uh, notebooks that i found this is for christmas lovely 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 i just love them yeah bonnie bonnets uh, I am going to make a journal, a Sarah K. Holly Hobby type of journal, but I'm still collecting ephemera and such. Uh, but someday I will make one. So thank you so much. This is an absolute treasure. Don't know where you got these from, Leonie, but I love them. <coughs> Especially love the glassine envelope. <laughs> I have a lot of these. I love them. Um, uh, collectors buy postage stamps in these sort of glassine envelopes. I think these are, well, they are for sure uh, British, English. And these are travel labels, luggage labels. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't really know, but I love them. They're real. Yeah, they're real and they're old. And I'm absolutely in love. These are amazing. I have a whole bunch of them, British Railways. I don't know exactly where they came from. She probably found them on eBay or such. Or in I don't know. I don't know where she finds them. But I know I'm in love with them a lot. 
I will hoard them for a little while and then probably, oh, I have one more of these cards. And then I'll probably use them. Uh, I think she has some more. She probably has. I will, again, I will link her shop below. Then I have two small booklets. This one is hilarious. Um, <laughs> let me tell you something about it. This is called the 1909 Pink Almanac. And I think, I be really believe it's from 1909. Yes. What this is, is some sort of a brochure um, that is made for, uh, I believe there were vendors at that time that sold you like pills and uh, potions and ointments and such. They were all a scam, obviously. But this one is called the Pink Pills. Yes. Uh, it's all in Dutch. It's from 1909 and it is, I'm going to read it all at one point, but there were some, some things in here that made me laugh so hard because it says suffering isn't living. This remedy cures the pink pills. Yeah, it cures everything. It, it tells you what it cures. It's good for the nerves and the blood and the muscles and your nervous system. And I don't know why suffer I have these pink pills. And but I love the illustrations and it has some um, photographs in there as well from very, very olden times. The pink pills for headaches and back aches. And it even had some, it says, for young girls. For when you grow, when you're very little, for your hips for young girls between the age of 14 and 17 or when you're really really old for winter diseases or stomach aches and so on and so on i love it and in the back it says pink pills for pale people for pale people well these are definitely mine then because i'm very pale but i love the images and i it's just it's hilarious and I love it. And thank you, Lainey. I really, really like it. Yeah. I have one more to go from my friend Leonie. It is in German. <clears throat> it says 1862. But I think that was like first edition or something. Again, I am not from Germany. I, I can read a little. It is for horse stables and such. Yeah. It is not from uh, 1862, but I do believe it's a very late 1800s or very early uh, 1900s. Uh, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at all these images. Yes, because this says um, 1891. So definitely after 1891. Uh, it has some beautiful fonts, some written pages. I love all the small decorations. Some of the pages were stuck together. That's a shame, but you know, it's okay. And then it has all these sorts of drawings. Isn't that wonderful? It's like horse tables. And the, those were sort of colorized because they didn't print in color them. So this was very special. Um, I'm not a horse person myself. I like horses. I'm not afraid of them. And when I was little, I was convinced we could have one in the garden and it would live in the shed. But you know, that was not the case. So it has all sorts of these um, illustrations in color. These are horse tables, of course. And then there were some illustrations about what you need for horse tables, for feeding them and for the, for watering them. I don't know. Very technical, all very technical. But I love these sorts of illustrations. Definitely early um, 1900s or late 1800s. So I, I think it's an, an absolute treasure. I still don't know, Leonie, why you got rid of this. Um, but thank you. This is where you put your saddles on, uh, probably. So I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I will definitely do um, a project with this, with horses. I do believe... Michelle, if you're watching this... I do believe Michelle from the Junk Journal Studio has a kit, I believe... Uh, a journal kit horse sort of related please let me know uh, i'll probably do something with that yes so thank you leonie i love it it's like with gold and such and, uh, in love in love in love i have one more category to go uh and that is books 
because I already have so many books and if you see my book collection uh, video you might know <laughs> I only pick up those books that I really really like um, I picked up this because it's really really small I already have, have already have a couple of these another almanac this is from 2009 so it's 100 years older than the other one so it's new these are very small but I like the pages that are inside here these have uh, they have these small little illustrations and all these numbers it's very thin like telephone book paper um, I don't know really what's used for it's like uh, every year they come out with this and they tell you when when is when and what is what don't really know what it's used for but I love these sort of papers so I always pick these up because pretty much very cheap 60 cents that's a good one Timus Paddestoelen book uh, mushrooms absolutely love it the um, illustrator is Klaus Kaspari very famous for uh, these sort of illustrations you can google him and find some images that you can use I love this book uh, it cost me one euro and 70 cents so it was a absolute steal uh, the original title came probably from um, Germany yeah in from München yes Munich this is the original title but let me show you the images in here because they are amazing yes love them so what much so bright and colorful the um, paper is not matte but not glossy at all it's like normalish paper it's not that old i believe it's from 1984 no uh, copyright 1977 yeah so i unfortunately i cannot scan these but i can fussy cut them yes love them love it so yeah when i find such a book i just i pick it up uh, this is an old book. I cannot find a date. This is like a um, uh, children's girls novel. We have a lot of these in the Netherlands. Very bright covers. It has some illustration in there. Five or six. Don't really care much for them. I don't really care much for the book at all, to be honest. Um, I am going to do two things with this book, either or. I'm going to completely take the book part out and use the cover as a, as a journal cover. I do that a lot. I love that style. But I can also do an altered book where I take out most of the pages but keep some in. And that will be the basis for a journal. So I'm going to do either the one or the other. Uh, but I love it. I do love this. Yeah. But I have a lot of them, so it might also be in my shop. I don't know. I don't know. Keeping this for later. These are old. These are French embroidery pattern sort of uh, books. They are, they, I cannot find a date. But I love these illustrations. Look at that. Yes. Nice and yellowed. This one has all colored in illustrations. I have two of these cost me nearly nothing and I just love it 40 cents they were 40 cents and this is the other one has this has a, a darker blue print on it this is not black this is blue isn't that amazing so everything is not in black but in blue yes uh, very interesting pages I love it they're old I cannot find the date but old old yeah and now this one do you recognize it? If you see my um, video last Friday, I believe, about my book collection, you've seen this one. Yes, Complete the Time Planter Lexicon. The English name it was the Complete Handbook of Garden Plants. Yes, it's from 1984. It is available on eBay or Amazon uh, because one of my subscribers already found it and was really, really happy with it. So this is the soft cover and this is the hard cover. So very very happy yes i i do not find these uh often but when i find them i am really really happy it is basically completely the same on the inside as the as the other one so now i have two copies i can completely take one apart i'll probably take this one apart because this is a soft cover i still do believe there is a bigger version of this yes i do not know for sure 
but i found another one and i'm really really happy because i use this for a lot of a lot of projects yes i have more books guys so a couple more never seen this book before it says 4000 monograms yes it's a pep and press design book so it's not old probably not old at all says it costs 29 euros and something did not pay that for it of course now pep and press is is rather new does it have a date 1998 yes but look but look at the inside it has monograms 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 and i especially love these ones i i have never seen anything like this but it's so beautiful no clue what I'm... Well, I'm going to use the pages, of course. Maybe I will cut some of the monograms out. All sorts of styles. And, well, it has 4,000 on them. It says so on the cover. So I was really, really happy. Never seen this. You can probably buy this. I mean, for sure. It's Pep and Press. So you probably can. Then I have a head book from the Haunted Book. The Book of the Dogs. Yes. Um, I like dogs, but I'm a cat person myself but I like dogs. But the images in here are fantastic. Matte paper, very bright images on here about, you know, dogs. Only one, the only problem is if I cut this dog out, it will lose a little bit of the other dog's legs. That's the only thing I'm like, why? Why did you not make them separate? See again here. But I love them. I'm going to um, probably fussy cut all of them. They are rather large because it's a large book so i probably won't be able to use all of them but it was a fantastic book and i believe it cost me a euro something one euro and ten cents so yes i'm not gonna leave it there i mean i'm gonna use it myself or you know make somebody else happy okay then this is this is a treasure i'm gonna keep the treasure for later let me show you these books these books I probably found uh, a lot of times in the thrift shops, but I always skip them. Why? Let me tell you. When I see this book, it says Flora of Europe, Fauna of Europe, it has uh, photographs on the cover. And that sort of tells me there are photographs on the inside. I was mistaken. I'm just going to show you one book. Uh, this is Fauna of Europe. It says Animals of Europe. Yes, the the dust cover is uh, glossy and it's a photograph. This is what the normal, normal cover looks like. Only, only cost me one euro. Yeah, I was really, really happy with that. And I was thinking it probably has photographs. It doesn't. Look, it doesn't. <laughs> I am so terribly happy. Oh, I love this. Um, matte paper, beautiful illustrations of... Uh, well, this one is with animals, all sorts of animals that, you know, can find in Europe. And the other one was with flowers and plants. There are, however, if you can see, like a couple of these in between here. And these are the real photographs. But again, it's on matte paper. You can make beautiful um, envelopes with them, of course. But birds, really, again, birds, you need birds. And bugs, birds, bugs, deer. Do you recognize this one? Let me zoom you in. Have you seen my Rolodex uh, card video? This little guy was on there. Yeah. Probably this little guy as well. No, not that one. There was another one. But it's the same uh, illustrator for sure. I haven't even looked up what the illustrator is. You probably can get this in another country. Let's see. Copyright 1975. It's originally from Prague illustrations a couple of them let me zoom you in a couple of these illustrators does it say an, uh, an original sort of title no but on the cover it said um one name j felix maybe that'll help love the books love them love them love them love them look at all of these has well, lots of birds again and insect and fishies and deer and oh yes 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 so yeah flora and fauna if you find these books touchies if you find this this is the spine um don't skip these they're wonderful 
I only paid one euro. My friend Leonie also found them. She paid a little bit more, but not, not a lot more. So they're not expensive. A great find, another addition to my uh, oh, fussy cut collection. I have uh, two more books to show you. I have a couple more items to go. Uh, this one, it's a big road map. It's big, it's huge. From Britain, it's not old, it's from 2002. Uh, but you can do so many lovely things with this. Look at the pages. They're big. They're interesting. It has all sorts of uh, um, cities and villages on here that, that I don't know because this is from Britain. I have lots of them in, uh, in Dutch from the Netherlands and I use them all the time. So why not have some British ones? Um, I rip them out, make pockets, make envelopes, journal pages, back backgrounds for collages. These are um, little treasures that you find very, very regularly at a thrift shop. And uh, most of the time, they're really cheap. Also has some um, registry paper, and you know I love that. And I have these, these small sort of maps. Wonderful. So... Um, do not underestimate these sorts of books because you can do so much with it. And it was, I'm sorry, I nicked my camera. Only one euro and ten cents because that was the go-to price for this uh, thrift shop. Guys, uh, did I found this um, at the antique market, flea market. I found three. They are vintage posted stamp albums and they are full. Yeah, this, this sticker says, I'm a champion crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> so funny so yeah oh look somebody somebody i didn't do this no it came like this they are almost completely full uh maybe one or two pages are not filled but otherwise they are completely filled i already sold two of these in my shop a couple of weeks ago and some of you were like oh do you have any more but i don't find them very regularly and now i found three of them i found oh a red one a blue one and a green one so they will be available in the shop when now let me tell you big news i will um my shop will be fully stocked again this friday yes with lots of beautiful things um fabrics all sorts of fabrics and um not these books wallpaper packs paper packs small books and uh and not a big surprise but um, you'll have to wait for that one. I will tell you later. Now, for the last book that I want to show you from this haul. It was not one euro and ten cents. It was a little bit, a little bit more expensive. Uh, it was actually four euros, which is a steal if you see what's in here. I love these sorts of small stickers. Yeah, it's an old one. It is music paper. I just, I flipped it open and this was the first page that I saw. It is handwritten something, I cannot even make it out. It's probably all the titles of the music paper that is in it. Because this is a book filled with uh, music papers. Yes, and what I really love is like the, uh, the handwriting, is, there's a copy over here. It's like the negative imprint of this one. See, it's old, so the paper is all sort of spotty and I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. I don't keep these papers um, in my craft room or in my living room. They go into the attic where they live with their friends. So uh, for me, this was already like four euros. I'll be good. It's probably going to be music. Yes, it's music. It's lots of music. And I did do like a quick flip through like this. And then I thought, well, what's this? I was already at home when I did the complete flip through. I love this. This is for me a treasure. It has some smaller books in here. I cannot find a date. I have not found a date yet. But I do believe this is late 20s, early 30s. It is really, really old. And it has like these fronts for the, for the little booklets. But it has some fronts that are so beautiful. Some covers. Look at this. No, honestly. Look at this. This is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's from London. It's English. I also love this um, in the green. 
this is from Amsterdam. I don't know. It's from all over. It's a different sort of music sheets bound together in one book. And it has all of these beautiful sort of covers. And also like the, the back covers. And another one. So many of them. And one is more beautiful than the other. Where's my favorite? Well, I really like the one in the beginning. Look at this. Look. Yeah, you know, I could look at this all day. All day. But there was one in here that I really wanted to show you. Where is it? No, I can't find it, of course. No, it was more in the front. Oh, I love this so, so much. Yeah, this one. Look. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I got lucky. I got really, really lucky. Yeah. Oh, in love. That was my haul, guys. Oh my gosh, another hour-long video. I am so sorry <laughs> if you don't like those. Uh, but I got a couple of messages from uh, some subscribers that told me, oh, well, we, I really like uh, hour-long videos. So I had so much stuff to show you I wanted to share with you. And I didn't even get the chance to show you the stuff that I found on my Uncle Ali's or in a regular shop. But I will show them at a later date. Thank you for hanging out with me again uh, today, guys. I so appreciate it. I really love showing you my treasures uh, because I get so excited and I know you get it. You get why I get so excited because you'd be too. And most people are like, "From this is very old and this is what you're going to do with this. And uh, yeah, I don't even, you know, you get me, you guys, you get me. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, this Friday, the shop will be open. Lots of new stuff. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask me. You can find me on Instagram. All the details are down below in the description box. Scroll, scroll. It's going to be down there. Where's the description box? It's underneath the video. Um, my Instagram account for my shop is 7plaza.curiosa. And my emails all also in the description box where you can ask any questions or such guys thank you i'll be back tomorrow with another project bye